Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, home of Heinz Field, will be the site for our upcoming game between New York and Pittsburgh. And now to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the game. Tom? The forecast has a wind advisory in effect for tonight's game. Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth here, getting set to bring you this windy action. Chris, how do you see the weather playing a factor in this one? We'll probably see these quarterbacks not go as deep with their passes. Maybe some shorter, quicker, easier kind of routes to start things off, and maybe the wind will let up a little later. And this game is now underway, and he'll return this one from the seventh. Well, get your bowl of popcorn, your favorite beverage, get settled in. We're just about ready for the opening kick. Drop at the 46-yard line. And we'll see how their offense has prepared for this matchup as they come onto the field for the first time. Ace backfield this time. The defensive backs move in closer. Under, under. Play action. Surveys the field. He's there for the catch. Great time for that type of pass. It worked to perfection. And that was a nice job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback enough time to survey the field and find the open guy. The defense comes up tight on the coverage. Blue 30. Blue 30. Looks down the field. He decides to run, and they get him at the 37. So he tried to scramble there, but it didn't even look like he got a yard. The Giants have a lot of standouts on defense. Let's take a look. Roethlisberger comes up to the line. Three wide receivers split out wide. Black 20. Black 20. Parker on the give. He's brought down at the 36-yard line. No gain, and that makes it third down. It's third down now, nine to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. There you go. Blue 30. Under, under, under. Cut. Cut. He drops back. He throws left. It's completed. He's tackled around the 29-yard line. Not much chance of converting that pass into a first down. Nah, and that's really what the defense was hoping for there. They settle their defense behind the chains, allow you to catch the ball, come up and make the tackle. Perfectly executed that time by the defense. Kick is up, and he got all of this one. This one will fall left. That guy has to be kicking himself after that miss, no pun intended. Sometimes when the kicker tries to hit it a little too hard, you'll see him yank it to the left. There's like a golf game or something like that. When you really try to load up, the tendency is to pull it left. He really needs to do a better job protecting the ball. If he doesn't, the backup might see a few carries. And this is a talented guy, it really is, but he does have a little reputation for putting the ball on the ground. Calls an audible. Drops back. Throws it out. Tackled at the 48-yard line. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. Single back formation. Manning doesn't like what he sees. Back to pass. Drops the sure pick. Hickson was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. They line up at the 48. Manning steps up to the line. Three wide receivers. Looking for a receiver. Right through his hand. Hickson was his intended target on that one, but they can't complete the pass. Pittsburgh lines up with their dime defense. New York changing their play. He drops back. Completed. Knocked out at the 44-yard line. They complete the pass on third and long, but they'll end up short of the marker. 
You can see the confidence level of this defense. They know they can make open field tackles, and that's probably one of the great lost arts in the game. The ability to make the tackle in the open field and stop them short of the first down. Good play defensively there. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. Big conversion that will keep them on the field. And defensively, those hurt. You end up in a fourth and fairly long situation. The other team goes for it, and they pick it up. That is a real deflator for a defense. Manning calls for motion left. Give to the tailback. He's brought down at the 33. Jacobs gains around six yards on the run. From the 33-yard line. They line this one up in shotgun. Four wide receivers are split out in the formation. He drops back to pass. Short throw to the left. Tackled around the 15-yard line. That one worked pretty well. It sure did, and I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. New York sends a man in motion. Jacobs gets it on the inside. He took a shot at the 15. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. Jacobs alone back. Hands it to the back. Brought down right around the 12-yard line. They get this two is yards. a play that you need. Trust your quarterback <laughs> to make a good throw right here. There. You talk about getting your bell rung. That was the Liberty Bell ringing that time. Here's a third and eight situation. The Giants come out showing three wide. New York changing their play. Drops back to pass. Short pass to his left. Wide open and he can't hang on. So, it's fourth down. This kick will be from about 30 yards out. It's good. Good kick that time as he puts it right through. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. He kicks it. Fielded at the nine. They get him at the 28-yard line. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Roethlisberger drops back on first down. On the run, he throws it. He's brought down at about the 45-yard line. That one worked just as they drew it up. Good pass, good catch, I agree. Sometimes there's really nothing you can do as a defense to stop a well-executed pass play. There's a play fake. The pass is away. Can't complete it. Ward was his intended target on that one, but they can't complete the pass. Second down now with 10 to go. They'll come out with three wide receivers. The defense calls an audible. And that defense is getting a little excited down there. Encroachment. Defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. I always thought a defensive penalty was so much more deflating than an offensive penalty because on offense, you have a chance to make up for it. On defense, a lot of times, it's big yardage and automatic first downs. They'll give it off here. He's dropped at the 45. Four-yard gain. That'll bring up third down. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert.
The Giants move in close on the cover. It appears to be short. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. They line up at the 46. The punter's going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. And they take the field again, looking to capitalize on their previous drive, which resulted in a field goal. Jacobs lines up as the single back. Defense closing in, throws it short. Can't connect on that one. Smith wasn't able to bring it in. Incomplete pass on the play. Single set backfield. He drops back. He needs to get the pass off. Bat it away. What a play by the defender. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. This is your chance to try something deep. Look for a mismatch and bomb it out there. The Steelers line up with a nickelback. Back to pass. Goes through his read. Manning can take his time here. Here's the pass. Going deep to the right. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. Punts it. Holmes takes it at the 43. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. Roethlisberger lines up under center. They'll come out in the single back formation. The defense has him surrounded. Intercepted. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Might want to start thinking about trying to pick on that guy. We've seen all day he has simply been quicker to the spot than the wide receivers coming into his area. The key here is to step up into the pocket. Make sure you get those feet set before you throw it. The Giants come out in the ace formation. The Giants changing their play at the line. They'll throw on first down. And it's completed. And you have to like the effort shown by the receiver on that long completion. Boy, that's just a special play right there. You see these great athletes on occasion. The ball's thrown up, and it's just a jump ball, go get it kind of situation. And he went up and made a great play there. Those are the kind that quarterbacks don't soon forget. Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, the score is 3-0. Second and a yard. Ball on the 43. And they get him right around the 36-yard line. Jacobs did a good job to get free and pick up the first. You come into this one with a game plan, but the sign of a great coach is one who can make the right adjustments over the course of a game. Don't stick with something if it's not working. From the 37-yard line, They'll come out in the shotgun. Manning doesn't like what he sees. He looks to throw on first down. Dumps it out right. He's dropped at the 27-yard line. 10-yard pickup on the play. Why don't you show the defense what a finely tuned machine you are? The backfield is in the offset I formation. He gets another carry. 
brought down at the 23-yard line. And that was a good effort to get the first. If you're running back and your big offensive line keeps pounding those things in there like that, keep converting these first downs, it really starts to wear down a defense. They'll throw on first down. Short pass to his left. And he's drilled at the 17. Just a short, efficient throw that time. Yeah, a true sign of patience on the offensive side. You let the play develop. You find uh, the open receiver. Maybe he takes a look down the field. It's not there. Just go ahead and take that safe throw. Jacobs lines up as the single back. Manning doesn't like what he sees. He's brought down around the 12-yard line. Jacobs picked up the first down after the gain of four. You're in a good position here. Get the snap, drop back, and let your guys get open. Don't force anything. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. The Giants come out in a two-tight end set. The Giants changing their play at the line. and the defense has a heavy rush. He's finally dragged down, and now it will be first and goal. They're probably looking for the run here. You should throw it and hope you get a guy wide open. New York with a first and goal, with their eyes on going up by two scores. They'll give it off here. Well, there certainly was no mystery to that play. Just power offense against power defense, and the offense won the battle there. And here's the extra point. Up and good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Hines will kick it deep. The kick. He'll down it in the end zone. On his last drive, the quarterback completed a pass, but to the other team, throwing another one could be disastrous to this offense. The defensive backs move in closer. On play action, pass completed. Tackle at the 30. Pretty risky throw that time, but it worked, so you won't see many complaints. Probably the most dangerous throw in football right there. Anytime you see the quarterback throwing across his body like that, back into coverage, when it works, you go, boy, that looks pretty and that's easy to do, and you're always tempted to do it. But how many times have we seen a ball like that picked off? Gives it left side. Makes a cut, and he will be hit and dropped. The back got some open field and was able to get a nice run. You could just tell he was not going to the ground until he got past that first down marker. I really like the determination in this guy in picking up first downs. Here we go. Black 20, under, under. They hand it off. He's going to be tackled for a loss. The defense got the job done on that one. Yeah, you could really see the defensive end on that one, controlling his blocker, biding his time, and simply waiting there to make the play. They line up at the 34. The defense comes up tight on the coverage. They'll keep it on the ground again. Brought down around the 39-yard line. Parker gains about five yards on the run. It's third down now and eight to go. The defensive backs move in closer. Black 20. Black 20. Under. 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 Pass the line. He's brought down at the 45. Five, maybe six yards there on the scrambles. It's fourth down. The Steelers are lining up to punt it away. Berger awaits the snap. Hook. 
punts it. He fields the punt at the 20. And they get him at the 24-yard line. Not a bad return there. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. What a shot! Jacobs, Jacobs gains seven yards on that play. They line up at the 32. Two tight ends here. Sees something and changes the play. Under heavy pressure. In and out of his hand. An excellent job by the defense of disrupting that last play. And that was really on the wide receiver. Not much of a route, very little separation, and gave the defense a chance to make that play. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. New York using an audible. It's a pass on third and short. Is there for the catch. He's dropped right around the 46-yard line. And it's the tailback with the big catch. And tailbacks love that. Anytime they can get into the open field, think about that position. You're constantly pounding the ball inside and getting hit by those big linebackers. Now you get out in open space and you have a chance to make a play. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Watch that game clock. You need to keep it stopped as much as possible. Manning adjusts the play at the line. Looking for a receiver. Pass is complete. Brought down at the 38. Great leaping grab that time that led to a huge gain. That's one of those that the quarterback has to be snickering a little bit as he's running down the field and say, yeah, no problem. That one was just perfectly thrown. <laughs> that time it was all the wide receiver. Jacobs on the run. Tackled right around the 30-yard line. So the back will come away with a first down on the play. Seven yards and a first down. The last thing in the world that defenses want to do is take people out of coverage, bring them down to help against the run, but I'm not sure they have much of a choice at this point. Looking for an open man. Oh, that's just slop. Almost a catch, but he had it pop right out of there. And that's so frustrating as a wide receiver. You know you're going to get hit on the play. Just wrap it up, make the catch, and go to the ground. Dumps it out left. And they get him at the 26-yard line. Six-yard gain through the air on that play. Just a simple throw and catch for a gain of six. That's just the kind of passing play that this offense is built around. They line up in the shotgun. Manning doesn't like what he sees. Looks to pass. Looks down the field. There for the reception. He's dropped at the 10, and a big catch for the tight end. And I can tell you this, there's nothing that defensive backs hate more than to have one of those big tight ends in the open field running right towards them. They give it to the tailback. Brought down at about the three yard line. Jacobs gets six yards on the carry. Remember that rolling out can sometimes give your receivers options and a little extra time that they need to get open. They line it up at the four yard line. The Giants come out in the shotgun. There are three receivers wide. New York uses motion. The Giants changing their play at the line. Back to throw. Looks for a man open. Brings this one in. He gets in for six. 
Well, he went to his tailback on that one. Yeah, he's a tailback, but he has wide receiver moves when he gets down around the goal line. He is some athlete. And they line up for the extra point. And the point after is good. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Tynes will kick it deep. The kick. This one's going to be downed in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. They'll take over at the 20. First and 10. Parker alone in the backfield. Set. Blue 30. Blue 30. Cut. 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 He throws it. And it's caught. Tackle at the 34. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't it? He? he really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see them driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. Back to pass. Throws on the run. He's brought down around the 42-yard line. And as we head to halftime, the score is 17-0. Thanks, guys. Here's a quick recap of some of the bigger plays of the first half. And here's the kick. He's hammered at the 24-yard line. You can't help but wonder if they'll be able to make it three straight drives ending with a touchdown. It's first and 10. Ball on the 24. The Giants set up in the gun. Tumert is the motion man. New York using an audible. Drops back. Surveys the field. Throws right. Smith seems to be a little shaken up on that play. One of the keys to running the ball is reading your blocks. Let those big old guys in the offensive line pave the way for you and just cut off them. First down now and 10 to go. They line up in an eye. Man in motion. They go with the run. Brought down at the 47 yard line. Four-yard gain on the play. That brings up second down. Second and six. Ball on the 47-yard line. Manning is in the gun. Four wide receivers this time. And they motion a guy to the right. New York changing their play. Looking to throw. Goes through his read. Woodley bats it away. And it's batted away at the last minute by the defender. Just when it looked like the quarterback might sneak that one in there, a late pass defense and a good play. Manning steps up to the line, three wide receivers. Manning changes the play at the line. Back to throw. Scans the field. 
and it's knocked loose. Looked like a sure reception, but he couldn't hang on to it. Well, that's just such a big part of the game. You know these receivers are going to be in position to make a catch. You can either try and knock it down or knock them out. He punts it. He fields it at the 17. The defender gets him to the ground. Seems like the coverage broke down a bit on that one. I thought they had him pretty well contained on that play, but he did find a small crack in the coverage, got it up the field. They were lucky they got hold of him. He could have broken that one off. Pittsburgh sends a man in motion. Drops back on first down. Comes down with it. He's dropped right around the 36-yard line. A good play to the tight end that time. And tight ends are so big that as coverage people, it's tough to figure out how to defend them. If you're on their left side, they throw it to their right side. If you're behind them, they throw it in front. Tight ends are tough to cover. The defense comes up tight on the coverage. Under, under. Parker gets the call. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Looks to be about a nine-yard gain. Well, they brought the blitz that time. The offensive line did a pretty good job recognizing it. They got the blocks, but the back was still able to get out of there for a nice gain. New York trying to call an audible on defense. Looks to pass. Looking for a receiver. Andy has been his go-to guy on the drive. A nice completion to the tight end. Always thought tight ends were sort of like pacifiers for babies, you know? Just about the time that you need a little security blanket, you know where to go. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Parker lines up as the single back. Give to the tailback. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. An amazing run. Well, if you want to know why all those coaches take stopwatches to the NFL Combine, you just saw it. You get a guy with that sort of athleticism, that sort of speed out there in the open field. Boy, is it fun to watch. Parker takes the gift. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. Picked up nine on the play, and that will bring up second down. Short yardage situation here, second and a yard. Roethlisberger is under center. He has two tight ends. Under, under, under. He's dropped for the sack. I would expect to see a little better protection from the guys up front on the offensive line. Yeah, I have to agree. When you start giving up sacks like that, it really changes the complexion of the game. And I think in particular, the quarterback who has this clock in his head working, he starts to anticipate when the pressure is going to get there. And if he starts thinking it's going to happen sooner, all of a sudden the timing of your offense is completely off. Passes, end zone, and that's about as well executed a play as you can ask for. And that's no fluke right there. We saw him hit that play a couple of times in practice the other day. That's something they're going to come back to until you find a way to stop it. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is up. It's good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. The kick is away. He's hammered at the 22-yard line. They were forced to punt on their last drive. Trust your big guys to open some lanes out there. Watch for the defenders to get blocked and then run for the gap. Sees something and changes the play. Scrambles. And he catches it with no one around. 
He's pushed out around the 38-yard line. And a nice pass to the tight end. So much of the game today revolves around those substitution packages, trying to bring extra defensive backs on the field to try and help against the pass. But when you have a big receiving tight end, that really makes that plan awfully tough to execute. Knocked out of bounds at the 45. Short pattern results in a completion for the offense. You know, that's not one of those plays that's a huge gain by any means, but that's really the essence of an offensive game plan. You have to start hitting some of those short, intermediate routes, and that begins to open everything else up. That was an impressive run for the first down. Nice job up front right there. Six yards, a first down. That's just old-fashioned football. Manning is in the gun. He has three receivers. Smith, the man in motion. The Giants changing their play at the line. Tiger, Tiger, scatter, scatter, scatter. Block, no, no, Philly. They'll throw on first down. There for the catch. Injured player. Might have been hurt on that one, but it appears it isn't too serious. Watch where there's movement up front. Look for the hole and send your man into the secondary. Jacobs has the deep back as they line up in the eye. The Giants changing their play at the line. Manning hasn't missed yet. And he can't hang on to it. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. Manning lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. New York using an audible. Manning set to go to the air. He's scrambling. Throws it deep. And it's knocked down. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. Kind of surprising here that they didn't elect to punt. I don't agree with this call. Rifles it to the middle. Tackled at the 37. What an unbelievable fourth down conversion. And if you want to know why this quarterback walks around with a little strut, that's exactly why right there he can make plays like that. They line up in a one-back set. Jacobs gets another carry. He's dropped at the 31. That's a nice six-yard gain. That'll bring up second down. Sometimes just the threat of a deep pass will soften up the coverage in the secondary. Use a vertical passing game to stretch a defense and show the defense that you're willing to go downfield on it. Calling an audible. The Giants put a man in motion. Zebra, zebra. Looking to throw. Passes the ball. Steps out at the 25. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. Well, that's a good feeling as a quarterback right there. You see a blitz like that coming, and you get the ball out of there and pick up the first down. Now, as a defensive coordinator, you may be a little more hesitant to call that blitz, and quarterbacks like that. They fall on it. And that was not a good time for a fumble. Well, there's really never a good time for a fumble, but you can tell that he just got sloppy with that football. He broke down on his fundamentals, and he gave it up. Drops back. Gets the ball away. Brought down about the 43-yard line. Great pickup for the first on that one. And really what makes NFL football so special is the ability of these quarterbacks to throw it and these great receivers to catch it. That's just fun to watch. First down, looking to throw. Catch is made. He's brought down at the 46-yard line. 
And the defense just ate that one up, Chris. Yeah, you're not going to fool this defense on plays like that very much. At least he got the ball out of there, though. Quarterback is in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. Blue 30! Blue 30! Looks down the field. He throws on the run. He's dropped around the 39-yard line. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. Pittsburgh sends a man in motion to the left. Parker on the give. Tackled at the 34-yard line. A five-yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. The backfield is in the offset I formation. So, at the end of three, the score is 17-7. The defensive backs move in closer. Here we go. Blue 30! Blue 30! Ah. Roethlisberger dropping back. And he hasn't missed a pass yet. You know, Chris, the tight end can be used as such a weapon in the passing game. And I always find it surprising that tight ends typically don't get drafted very high. But when you think about the skill set, they have to be able to block like a tackle and catch like a wide receiver. Little handoff. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Parker gets three yards on the carry. Second and seven. The Giants are up tight on the receivers. He's looking to throw. Scrambles for yardage. He lost it. Scooped up by one of the corners. The defense came up with that one. Defenses are getting so much better at learning how to strip the football and change the momentum of a game. That's something that's practiced much more today than it was 20 years ago. The Giants changing their play at the line. They'll throw on first down. Throws while on the run. And he made a great open field tackle. The tight end came up with a nice catch that time. Pretty athletic play for a big guy. I tell you, as a quarterback, you see somebody make a play like that, you want to come back again and again. First down and 10 to go now, following the big game through the air. Gives it off. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. He barely got it past the line of scrimmage that time. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal gain. Pittsburgh brings in the nickel here. Manning calls an audible. Manning hands it off. He's brought down at the 22. A seven-yard run by the running back. Okay, you should be able to run the ball and get the yards you need here. They line up at the 22. New York is going with the offset eye backfield. Man in motion. Ward, the ball carrier. He's dropped at the 14. Looks like the containment just broke down on that one, and they end up giving up the first. 
Defense is all about gap control. All you have to do is maintain your one gap. If one guy blows it, you can give up a big play like that. He'll get the call again. And he's decleated at the eight. About six yards on the play. That brings up second down. Just seven yards from a touchdown now. Jacobs lines up as the deep back. I formation. Manning calls for motion left. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Not what they were looking for on that play call. You know, for a running back, there comes a point in time where you say, all right, this play is not working. Let me just get as much as I can and try to get it back to the line of scrimmage. The Giants changing their play at the line. Back to throw. Strong throw. And they get him around the eight-yard line. They complete the pass, but it won't be enough for the first. Yeah, that's one of those balls that looks good in the stats for the quarterback because he gets a completion. But for this offense, it's going to bring up fourth down. Huge play defensively to make that stop. And they'll keep the offense out there on fourth down. New York using an audible. He drops back, looks for a man open. He's in for the score. And the running back crosses the goal line for his second score of the game. You know, we always talk about a running back sneaking out of the backfield. Well, this guy is not sneaking anywhere. They know they have to get him covered. And so far today, they haven't been able to do it. They'll look to tack on the extra point. Point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. We're ready for the kickoff. Here's the kick. He'll down it in the end zone. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Roethlisberger is in the gun. Free wide formation. Black 20. Black 20. Cut. Under. 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 Cut. Drops back on first down. Passes to his left. Fumble. Pierce grabs it on the ground. Oh, Personal foul. Face back. Defense. And so the defense First gives up down. some yards after the fly. And I know this is a game of emotion. And if you're not emotional on the football field, you're going to get beat anyway. But you can't let your emotions get away from it. He looks to throw on first down. He's going to take off. And he tucked that one away for about five yards. Game of five. From their own 43-yard line. The defensive backs move in closer. Black 20. Black 20. Looking to throw. He throws short. Makes the catch. He's pushed out at about the 47-yard line. Clark looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. First and 10, ball on the 48. The defense comes up tight on the coverage. They'll throw on first down. Brings it in. Brought down around the 32-yard line. 
That's what we were talking about earlier. Once again, we see the gunslinger mentality out of this quarterback. That wasn't a big hole, but his powerful arm got it in there. Parker on the handoff. They tackle him for a loss. Looked for a seam, but he wasn't able to find anything. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. Roethlisberger will come to the line with a three-wide formation. We have two minutes left to play in this game. New York tightens their coverage. He drops back. Looking for an open man. Cuts back and he's dropped. They go to their hurry up offense. Parker alone in the backfield. Roethlisberger calls an audible. Roethlisberger back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. Roethlisberger. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Blue 30. Under, under, under. Roethlisberger will look to pass. On the run, he throws it. They bring him down, and it's first and goal. They'll keep the drive alive with that great pass for a first down. It is so hard to complete passes like that on fourth down because there's no mystery about what you're going to have to do. And especially in those long yardage situations, you have to execute perfectly, and that's exactly what they did. He gained a good six yards on that scam. The defense is changing their play. He's looking to throw. Gets rid of the ball. It's incomplete. I don't know who he was throwing to on that one. And Tom, I think the pressure got to him there. He just got uncomfortable in the pocket and missed that one. They'll line it up just inches away from the goal line. It's third and goal. Black 20. Black 20. Cut. Under. 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 Goes through his read. What a catch! Touchdown! Well, it's good to see them fighting hard until the final whistle. Yeah, I'm sure the coach is proud that they didn't quit, but that's about all he's proud of today. They took a pretty good whooping in this one. And good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. And the coach has no other option than to call for the onside kick. Here's the onside kick. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. And they can't blame them for trying the onside, but they're just not able to come away with it. And like the saying goes, desperate times call for desperate measures, but for them, desperate measures didn't work out. They'll get the ball here at the 41-yard line. First and 10. They hand it off. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. They need to come up with a better game plan to stop this guy. Yeah, you're not kidding. They can't keep giving up those big chunks of yardage like that. If they do, it's going to be awfully tough to stop this offense. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And they will kneel down to try to run out the clock. He should probably play it safe, just down the ball. From the 32-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. They go with the kneel down. Look, 
That brings up third and 13. Ball on the 34. The Steelers bring in their dime package. And he'll just kneel it here. And this one's over. Our final score is the Giants, 24, the Steelers, 14. Well, as we just about wrap this one up, let's take a final look at some of the key plays of the game. This concludes another game of Madden NFL 2009. From all of us here, thanks again for being part of this game.